I'm Boomer Esiason for SI.com. In full transparency here, folks, I am a dyed-in-the-wool Nick fan, and I go all the way back to the 69 championship with Willis Reed and Walt Frazier, and certainly I love Phil Jackson as a player for the New York Knicks. And like everyone else, I admire him as a coach of the Chicago Bulls and, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers and those beautiful 11 rings that he can wear on any given day. So here's where my warning comes to the New York Knicks. Is he all in? Can he move to New York and run the Knicks and change a culture of dysfunction and make it a culture of zen? Change the roster, change the way things are done around here. I don't believe he can. And if Jim Dolan, the owner of the Knicks, allows him to run the team or be a part of whatever organizational aspect of the team he's going to be given from California, it doesn't work. Most Knicks fans are disgusted about the decisions that have been made at the top of the franchise, meaning allowing Isaiah Thomas to come in here and then firing Donnie Walsh after he finally got it straightened out to the point where you bring back Steve Mills and make him a president and general manager. So what does that leave for Phil Jackson? Where is his angle in this whole thing? And if he's not going to come here to New York and not be invested, not be all in and changing around this dysfunctional culture, then I say forget it. He loves Manhattan Beach, California. He loves the lifestyle. And at the age of 68, does he really have the energy that it takes to turn around this morbid franchise right now? I think not. And that's why I would be worried as not only a Nick fan, but a Nick player. And of course, anybody who works for the Knicks at this point. I'm Boomer Esiason.